Hey guys, welcome into another testing video. We've currently got two 6700 XTs on the test bench. Uh, as you can see, the wattage is roughly 174 watts, occasionally spiking upwards, but generally floating just below 174 watts for the most part. Uh, yeah, you can see two 6700 XT sapphires here on a 750 watt gold rated power supply. Uh, and also mother, uh, motherboard is uh, riserless, so that saves a couple of watts. Uh, and I'll jump into the software side of things and show you the mega hash that we're getting. Alright guys, we're in the software side now. You can see the numbers here. Uh, they're a lot better than the previous times I've done the testing. And the two factors that have changed are R mode. So I have R mode enabled. If we look in the flight sheet can see in my minor config I have this argument here which en enables uh, R mode and then the other thing that has changed is I figured out if I drop the memory from 1075 which gives a slightly higher hash rate to 1073 which does decrease the hash rate slightly then I'm able to drop the SOC VDD max all the way down to 795 uh, which decreases the wattage by about 10 watts in the software um, and together the R mode and the this VDD max change has saved me 15 watts and only lost me like 0.25 watts or something oh sorry lost me 0.25 mega hash per GPU so yeah the clocks are as shown 1000 watts for the core clock uh, you can drop it lower but it doesn't make a difference uh, same with the core voltage you can if you drop the core clock lower, you can get the core voltage slightly lower, but it doesn't make a difference on the actual power draw at the wall, uh, which is yeah, unusual, but uh, that's the way it was for this one. Memory controller voltage can go down slightly, but it doesn't make a difference again to the wall, which is pretty common. doesn't make much of a difference. Memory clock, I had to drop it to 1073. Other people I've seen have done this uh, at 1074 which is why I was unable to do this for so long. I didn't realize because I tried other people's settings exactly to try and get it working and they had done it at 1074 memory clock, uh, which my GPUs would crash at. Uh, if I keep these exact same settings now and go to 1074, I get like 31.33 mega hash, which is super weird for this GPU. Uh, and then if I go to 1075, it just full on crashes immediately. Uh, yeah, so that's why I wasn't able to figure this out for so long. My GPUs that I have, for some reason, just being Sapphire models maybe, they need to go to 1073 in order for the SoC VDD Max to drop all the way down to 795. Uh, yeah, next up is memory voltage. It can drop slightly lower to 1030, uh, sorry, 1230, but it uh, increases the instability of the rig and no one likes an unstable rig. Uh, SOC Freak, I just grabbed from someone else's uh, recommended settings. Uh, didn't seem to make a difference dropping it, so I just left it at that. And then, yeah, SOC VDD Max, I tuned it all the way down, started with like 850, uh, which was a recommended setting from uh, someone else's video. Uh, and then I got all the way down 790, crashed the rig, so chucked it back up to 795, which was stable. Uh, and yeah, with those settings and R mode enabled, I've gotten all the way down to about 64 watts in the software. Uh, and you can see, because this card has a 230 watt TDP, and then we're only running it at just under 80 watts, we're running at about a third of the TDP. So the fans barely need to be on. I'm utilizing auto fan here. So it's targeting 50 degrees core, 75 degrees mem temp minimum fan speed of 12 percent which is literally just to keep them spinning uh, and because if they go down to about 10 percent i think it is they actually stop moving they don't have enough power like 10 percent power is not enough to make them spin uh, so and you, yeah i don't care about the max fan speed so i set it to 100 uh, yeah and that's like literally how low they're going to run um, i'm even in a warm room with them right now like it's pretty warm in here and they are still running at 13 14 percent uh, slight loss of hash rate obviously from the previous settings that i had but yeah those previous settings that i had are now outdated because 
you know, I know that I can get better hash rate and better efficiency, sorry, not better hash rate, just better efficiency on these GPUs. Uh, and hopefully I'm going to be able to apply these uh, settings like the mem clock and SOC uh, VDD max to other algorithms as well. So I'm going to give that a try after this. But yeah, I'll make more videos in the future showing uh, the results that I can get on other algorithms on this GPU. Uh, last thing to note, I've been running this for about an hour and five minutes, so uh, if you do use these exact clocks and they're not super stable, all you're going to want to do is increase the millivolt settings, including the SOC VDD max, memory voltage, memory controller voltage, and core voltage. Generally, the memory controller voltage won't be the problem. More likely to be core voltage, memory voltage, or SOC VDD max. So yeah, if you try just straight copying these settings and it crashes, that's what you need to do, increase those. Uh, also, some people might be able to go 1074 on the memory uh, and still get that low SOC VDD max, which would give you a slightly higher hash rate with the same sort of efficiency. So yeah, you might be able to do that. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have for this video, apart from comparing this new efficiency. So you can see here 0.59 now which is insane efficiency for this GPU, um, which yeah, puts only the 6600 above it uh, in terms of the, the cards listed here. Obviously there's like the CMP 178GX and 228GX, which can beat it. Um, and also the XFX model of the 6600 XT can actually beat it as well, 0.597. And there might be some other caveats with that, like maybe ASRock models on various cards can beat it as well, because ASRocks are super efficient. Uh, and these, all these cards are quite close together in terms of efficiency. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have for this video, apart from one last thing to show the efficiency rating here. So according to Minostat, these are the efficiency ratings. So having a 0.59 puts it, you know, right in about here. Uh, they actually have what I believe to be the wrong numbers for the 5700 XT, so actually it's only these three cards that are above it in terms of minus that, but then also from my own testing I know that the 6600 is above it as well, even though they have it listed all the way down here at mediocre uh, results, which is, yeah, I don't know, they just don't get the best results for 6000 series GPUs. Uh, they don't do as much testing as I do, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. So if this helped you in any way, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And have a great day. See ya.